Hi there, Vanessa here from A Home Teaching V, and I'm here today to share with you our choice of science curriculum. We have been using elemental science since first grade, and V is now in third grade, and we are still loving and enjoying this curriculum very much. Elemental science is a classical homeschool curriculum, and they have different series that you can choose from. We are using the classic series, which goes from first to uh, eighth grade. And within the classic series, they have two different stages. The first stage is the grammar stage that goes from first to fourth grade. And then the logic stage that goes from fifth to eighth grade. Now V this year, she's in third grade. So she's learning chemistry for the grammar stage. To start, I would like to show you how I'm organizing the material for this school year. So I went to the container store and I got this clear plastic container and I have everything for each curriculum in here. And I'm trying to color coordinating with the color of the curriculum. Like you can see, it's red. I have a folder for all the science quizzes. I had another folder for the lab books and then the lab book itself for each unit that she's doing. Any extra activity for this unit uh, that she's right now, uh, we have the isotope game, so it's everything here. The student workbook, the teacher manual, the encyclopedia that we need to use, and the book with the, all the experiments that are done throughout the, the curriculum. And also any extra activity that we have and everything that needs to be handy and ready to be used is right here. So let me now show you the features that I really like about this curriculum. Right at the table of content, you know that it's going to be 36 weeks of planning of science. They also give you the required book list and additional book list for each of the week. So there's no guessing like what book should I get you know, that will complement this lesson. It's all given there for us. Another great feature, they give a supply a list of the material that's going to be needed for each week again so it is so easy to plan this curriculum now we get to the part where we start the unit so I want to show you how the week is laid out we start with a scientific demonstration then the reading assignments for the required book list and then you got the questions for discussion then they give you the additional books, the additional reading, and then we'd have the writing assignment, which is include the narration page, which is in the student workbook, and then the lab books, which are optional. We love the lab books, so we do it. We make all of them. The vocabulary, and then any extra and additional project to help your student grasp the information. And then the memorization work, and the answer for the quiz. Last but not least, the very helpful schedule. Let's take a look at the student workbook now. Here we have the narration pages, and then V writes, you know, like a summary of what she was learning. And then we have the lab report. Towards the end, we have the vocabulary work for her and any extra activity, uh, oops, not, like memory work, and then any other project that needs to be completed during the, the, the units are all in here. Then our favorite activity of all for this curriculum are the lab books. As you can see, we started here already to create one of the lab books. And they also give you a possible layout. So really, really easy. So I have a folder where I printed all the life books activities and then I just come here, take it, V cut and to color, fill out the information that's needed. And I have another uh, folder where I have all the quizzes that she's gonna be doing for each of the weeks. Elemental science has been our choice of science curriculum for many reasons. And one of the reasons for me that is like a deal breaker when I'm looking for a curriculum is the hands-on activities. 
it has to have hands-on activities, especially science. And I love the fact that they have lab books. We are lovers of the lab books. And also, they give you uh, extra projects. They give you um, a huge list of additional reading material for each week. It's complete. It has everything that I want in a curriculum, everything that I search for in a curriculum. And we really like it. We really enjoy it. And we have no planning in changing it. Now, I'm the teacher and I have my opinion, but I want you to hear also from V, the student. So I have now the star of the show, little V. Do you want to say hi, V? Hi. Okay, so I have four questions for V that might help the parents out there to make their decision uh, regarding their science curriculum. And V, do you really like our science curriculum? Oh yes, because it's fun because we... When you get experiments and crafts and games, that makes the learning way more interesting. interesting. It does. Yeah. Definitely does. And do you like the lab book activities? Yes. Even though there's working of cut and gluing <laughs> and putting that on the lab book, it's so worth it to see what you've done. Exactly. From learning it. And it's a good way to you, for you to study and re remember everything before the quiz, right? Yes, and I like looking at my full lab book, saying, oh, I did all of this. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> exactly. Do you have fun learning science? Yes, because when you get, like, all of the stuff, like... The science experiments? Yeah, the science experiments and the, the games and the crafts. That's really what makes it fun for me. So, V, for the parents out there, they're looking into a science curriculum and they came across elemental science. Do you think it is a good curriculum for their child? Yes, because it's fun seeing with your own eye the experiments that you get and then playing the games and crafts that I think are really fun. So I would definitely recommend it. Very good. So we're not being paid for this review. And we're just expressing our opinion, how we feel about the curriculum, and V as well. She's just... Uh, no paper. No paper, <laughs> exactly. She's just telling exactly how she feels and what she thinks about the curriculum. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to answer as soon as I can. So, if you liked our video and you thought our review was helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way you won't miss any of our cool videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.